do not pander to your audience. Huwag tayong magpasikat kahit kanino at huwag nating i-perform yung gusto nilang mapanood. Ang mga tao sa paligid may gusto nga panood. Gusto ko nilang makita ng nakipagaway, gusto ko nilang makita ng yabang. Huwag mo silang pagbigyan. Hindi mo kailangan mabuhay according to the script that they want to watch. Live your life. And if people don't like you, they will go away. That's fine. Because your true friends will naturally walk with you no matter what. But your, the people around you who are not your real friends, they will dislike you when you become your real self. Never mind. Dahil kung ang magugustuhan lang nila ay pag-fake ka, hindi maging totoo ka, mawala sila because meron ka rin magiging kaibigan kung ano yung totoo ka. Galatians 1.10 I am not trying to please people. I want to please God. Do you think I'm trying to please people? If I were doing that, I would not be a servant of Christ. So don't be people pleasers. Do what you know what pleases God and do what is true to you, what you like. And if people like it, salamat. If they don't like, we both lose. Pero hindi mo kailangan laging may gawin para sa kasiyahan ng iyong audience kahit ikaw mismo nagdurusa na ginagawa mo yun. Ang unang-una, you should be true to yourself. Because that is being true to God who created you. Do not be a mindless people pleaser. Living who you are, who you really are, your real life, will drive away those people who only want to oppress and control you. Ang lalayo lang naman sa'yo, pag ikaw ay totoo sa iyong sarili, ay yung mga ayaw nilang totoo ka dahil gusto nila maging tau-tauhan ka lang for you to parrot the lines that they want you to say, for you to live a life that they want you to live. So hindi sayang yun kahit mawala sila sa inyong buhay. Sabi ng Amos 3.3, Do two walk together unless they have agreed to do so. Said another way, do not force yourself to walk with people who don't want to walk with you. Na, makasabay mo lang sila kahit yung pupuntahan nila iba sa gusto mong pupuntahan, doon ka na rin pupunta para ka lang makasabay. E di maghiwalay kayo ng landas kung iba talaga ang gusto mong puntahan at iba ang kanyang gusto mong puntahan. At huwag ka matakot mag-isa dahil kung naging totoo ka sa iyong layunin, sa iyong gusto sa buhay, yung pagtahak mo sa landas na totoo, may mga ibang tatahak din doon na makakasabay mo. Pare-pareho pa kayo. Kesa yung pinipilit mong makasabay ang isang tao, hindi naman kayo talaga pareho ng gustong puntahan. Hindi kayo pareho magkasabay ng speed maglakad. So, lagi kayo may conflict. Sabi, can two people walk together unless they have agreed to do so? The obvious answer is no. Don't force yourself or don't force others to walk with you unless you really have agreed on your destination and on your speed of travel. Iisa ang buhay, ang iksi-iksi ng buhay, uubusin mo pa sa pagsunod sa gustong puntahan ng iba. Tapos yung gusto mong puntahan, mamamatay ka na lang, hindi mo pa napupuntahan. Dapat maging tapat sa tunay nating pagkatao, pagustuhan at mga layunin at papel na ibinigay sa atin ng Diyos.